is Megan and welcome to Storytime for Monday. We're talking all about plants, gardens, trees, all of the kinds of things we grow this week. So this book is called Once There Was a Seed. We can see on the cover a little girl and her grandpa watering the flower. Let's see what sort of things we're going to learn inside this book. Grandpa loves growing things. He says he has a green thumb. He says I have a green thumb too. Having a green thumb means that you are good at growing things. Today, we're going to plant some seeds. First, we push the seeds into some soil. Not too deep. Grandpa says that seeds need three things to grow. They need water, warmth, and light. When a seed has water and warmth, a little root starts to grow out of it. The root grows downward. So you can see in the picture the root sprouting out of the seed. Next, a little shoot grows out of the seed. The shoot grows upward. When it reaches the light, it starts to sprout leaves. Grandpa says plants are just like us. They need food to grow. We get our food at mealtimes. Plants make their own food from water, light, and air. Below the soil, the roots are getting bigger and bigger and spreading further. Above the soil, the plant is growing taller. So can you see that Grandpa has pulled up this plant and the roots are really long? When the plant is big enough, some new buds will appear. These buds turn into flowers. See, the bud is just the beginnings of a flower. Flowers come in many colors and shapes. Some smell sweet too. Grandpa says that his flowers look and smell so good that he might win a prize at the flower show. But I think it's so that insects will notice them. Flowers contain pollen. When an insect visits a flower, pollen sticks to its body. When the insect flies to another flower, the pollen goes too. If you ever touch the yellow part of a flower, you'll get some dust on your fingers. It's not dust, it's pollen. She says, I'm all dusty. And Grandpa says, it's not dust, it's pollen. One flower swaps pollen with another flower. Then the flower dies, but it leaves new seeds behind. Look, she says, apple seeds are called pips. Chestnuts are seeds too. Before the seeds grow into new plants, they need to find their own patch of soil. Often they are carried by the wind. Sometimes a bird helps them. Sometimes a squirrel helps them. 
Have you ever seen a dandelion? It's yellow for a while, and then it gets that soft, puffy white on top, and sometimes we blow it and make a wish. You're spreading the flower so it can grow more. Sometimes grandpa helps them spread. Her here. Is her little apple? The end. That was once there was a seed. I'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday story time. Bye.